Hi guys, Kate at Kate's Crafts. Um, it's taken me a while to film this. I just got my new um, holder for my phone to film and I've been playing around with the different angles and finally found one that I really like. So, I have another album in a box. Um, this one's made with the Heartfelt Creations uh, Sweet Lullaby Paper. I actually had to use two entire paper packs to um, finish this, which was a little insane but um it turned out amazing um or so i think my sister is having a little boy um she's due june 8th so my goodness just over a month away um and she wanted tons of room for pictures and all kinds of stuff so i will show you the box so it's about eight and a half by eight and a half um, hopefully you can see this um, and it's about four and a half inches deep so I'll just take you around the outside um, so the hardware I the hardware I got from Butterbee scraps um, and same with all the charms that I'd used in the album so the album itself is about eight by eight and about four inches deep um, I did tie a ribbon around so she can just pull it out and that's not going to hurt the album at all. So here's the inside of the box. just want to make sure I stay in frame for you guys. Um, okay, so we'll bring the album back. Um, if you hear growling, my little dogs are playing. So. Please don't mind them. Um, so this is the front cover. <laughs> um, I did leave it quite plain because I wasn't sure how much um, room she would need once she filled it with pictures to um, put it back in the box after she filled it. Um, so here's the spine. Um, I wanted to show you those charms because they're super cute. Um, the stork um, bib and the little diaper pin and the bib says spit happens so I thought that was absolutely adorable um, I did have to put a little um, tag on the back of the book uh, I'm not not quite sure exactly what name she's going to go with she has a couple but she has a favorite picked out so we'll have to wait and see um, so there is a drawer on this one too just like the last box album I did but it was a slideshow um, again this is following the tutorial by Alexandra M on YouTube. Um, this is scaled up from her original tutorial and it took me quite a while to get the drawer working properly. So I'll show you the inside. Make sure I can get most of it in frame here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I did make a pocket on the inside front cover and I put a, a tag that I made with some ribbon from Michael's just on the corner. Um, there's my other tag. Um, so I do have two tags <laughs> um, on a little pocket that I made on the inside. I did put um, there um, just some information from when he comes home from the hospital. Just some keepsake memorabilia there. Um, so on all of the pages, they are constructed the same. And they all have a little charm. All the charms, again, are from Butterbee Scraps. Um, so the first one is a little carriage. Let's move this over so hopefully you can see the whole thing. Um, I just put a border stripper along, along the bottom and just kind of glued it in the middle and on the end so the tags can tuck down and she can put lots of photos in there. This piece is loose at one corner. Um, I didn't mount any of the tags. They're all plain on the back. Um, and all of the tags on the inside are the same. Um, I used one of the uh, border strips from Martha Stewart. It was the trellis, garden trellis. Um, but I just left the back plain so she can just make a collage or um, or just tuck the photos in behind the border strip. I did leave it. There's a tag here. I did leave it all open. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, I think you can, but I'm still getting used to where my camera is and the the angles um, for filming. So the next page. There's six pages in total. Um, so for this page along the border strip, it is open. So this does 
slide out. There is a magnet in the back so it can stay in place and you don't have to, she doesn't have to tuck it in the back of the border strip. Um, but on this page, I did cut around the pillow and the little boy um, so she can just tuck a photo in behind there. Um, and the charms on this one, oh, there's just one and it is a teddy bear. So every baby needs, needs a first little teddy bear. Um, and on this flap, I just put the bundle of joy from one of the water strips and stuck a tag in behind. Um, for the main page, I just attached this along the outside edge and cut out the inside so it does slip down and she can slide a photo in behind um, and she can put a photo on the back or both sides of the, the bird tag as well. Um, but she wanted as much room for photos as possible. Oh, I am still filming but my phone's about to die so we'll see how far this one gets. Um, so this slips down the same way. Um, in this there is a, a pocket here that I made from the tags and this is open as well. Um, there is a made with love charm. I can flip it around and show you. Um, and a soother on the back of the made with love charm. It looks like a fingerprint on the back. Um, on top of in the back of these tags, they are open. Um, in this, just this cut apart <laughs> pulls out, um, and you can slide it back in either way. Um, so it can be held in by the shoe cutout or from the boy with the dog. Um, I try to use as many of the images of the little boy with the dog as possible. My sister does have a dog and they're having a little boy, so I thought it was super cute. Um, so this is just a little mini pocket with some of the border strips. Um, I did put a tag in behind the stamps as well. I just cut those apart from the paper. Um, this charm is a little cup and it says baby around the side. Um, and these tags are suspended from a pocket I made with another border strip. I did that quite a bit just so that she can glue whatever picture she wants, however she wants them. Um, and I did leave this tag open with the precious little angel and these tags come out as well so she can put a big photo on the back and load these with photos on front and back um, on this page the <clears throat> excuse me the charm is a sh or the footprints um, and I did put the shoe I thought it was cute with the footprints on the shoe um, and that one's loose behind and this one opens up. I did the same thing as I did on the first page with this one. Just cut around the pillow um, and made a little pocket on the side with some of the cut aparts. Just layered them up. Um, on this page I made a gatefold magnetic flap here. So tons of room for large photos. Um, I did leave this cut apart open as well and on this page there's a charm with a onesie that says baby and a little bottle. Not sure if you can see the detail on that. Um, and on this page I just made another pocket with one of the cut aparts. I glued two of the 6x6 six six pieces together <clears throat> and made a little pocket. I just cut around the fence and they are the same on the front and back. And, <clears throat> excuse me, on the last page, I made this A flip down. Um, there is a magnet in behind these two pieces, but my sister wanted a list of all the normal firsts. So I just found a list online and added those with some stamps that I was given uh, for Christmas. Um, just the individual letters. I did just leave this as the main layout. I thought that would be nice for another large family photo on the back. Um, and there's a drawer. I did just leave all the 6x6 six six cut aparts. My sister's quite crafty too, so I thought she could do collages on them or write something beside each picture. A little bit of a memory. So I'll show you the drawer. And the sides. Ooh, I'm not sure if that's hope this isn't frame. my phone's dying and I can't quite see the image so there's the rocking horse and building block 
Um, so let me know what you guys think. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please follow me here on YouTube. I do have a link to my Facebook page as well. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.